issue, not just one specific uh, group of people, even though certain groups use the, uh, the roadways and the sidewalks more often than others. Uh, I constantly receive calls about um, being able to walk up Main Street or not being able to walk up Main Street. Uh, you, you have areas such as uh, uh, Park Street between Winter and uh, Main Street that eventually, maybe sooner than we think, well, that road will have to be done and sidewalks might have to be, become an issue then. Uh, it may have to be installed. Um, we don't meet ADA standards through most of the <coughs> sidewalks within our community. And we need to be prepared uh, to continue and work with the, the growth pattern of our, of our town. I've seen many towns where the town grows so quickly that they forget about the pedestrian and all they have are traffic jams and people uh, getting hurt. I, I can say this, that uh, by example, the other day I was going to pick up my daughter, I was, I guess I was just past CVS on Main Street. It took four lights for me to be able to make that t right turn. Very tempted, very tempted to go into the Eastgate liquor and take that shortcut. So pedestrian safety advisory committee can look at these things and try to help and identify and suggest and advise and work with the community uh, planning uh, commission so that uh, we can begin to have our sidewalks uh, and our movement, uh, mobility around town uh, much uh, pedestrian, more pedestrian friendly. So I'm asking tonight for you to approve this committee. I'm gonna add another responsibility for me, which I gladly accept, assuming that I would be the liaison. Um, but uh, I'd like you to approve this. I'd like us to go forward. <coughs> it has to do with the vision of the town and all of the uh, uh, growth that we need to anticipate uh, as we go forward. So, thank you. Discussion? Mr. Frisco? I'm gonna, I have to be honest, uh, Jeff. You know, when I ran in my election, I don't, you heard a lot about what I was saying, and, and you know the situation this town's in. And I give you a lot of credit, and I understand where you're coming from on this, but I could not support this committee. Not when we have so many pressing issues facing this town. Putting this, make it forming this committee, to me, sort of puts a flag up. This, this becomes a priority. When we have things like wastewater, we have to get going. We have budget deficits we need to come up with and start to figure out how we're going to fix them. We have so many other committees and things that we need to really focus on that I, I, I'm kind of concerned that this is, is even being addressed. And I don't mean any disrespect, but I, I'm not going to support this only because of the significant issues we have ahead of us. I think we kind of have our priorities a little mixed up if we're really going to focus time and effort on this. There's a lot of people right here that could be really focused on some of these bigger issues. You know, I understand if I read this and I saw people were getting hurt on the sidewalks and people were getting hurt in our streets and we had complaints and we had logs of complaints and we had DPW in here, then I, I think then we do have a serious issue. But if, if that is not the case, and I'm really not too sure why this came up, I'd ask you to just reconsider a priority of what we need to focus on rather than this right now. And I think we should address it down the road, but I would suggest that we, as a committee, think about the priorities. Well, I <coughs> think safety is a very important issue in our community. Um, I think someone being injured, and people have been injured on, on Main Street. We have had a woman that was killed crossing the road, possibly in the location that she, she was, uh, the accident did occur. If there had been a light at Walmart and had that been addressed some time ago, it 
it's a very consistent, you want a light, but there's no crosswalk. You're correct, you're correct. If there's no, uh, there's no crosswalk there, so the pedestrian has to cross at their own risk. There are a lot of uh, children, as children, young adults, who, uh, uh, attempting to cross those uh, uh, Main Street, and, and I focus on Main Street because that's a, uh, a high volume, uh, high speed, high volume road. Um, uh, when uh, just this past winter, someone was sideswiped by uh, by a police car. Okay. Uh, at a, a location where there was no sidewalk. When you talk about setting priorities, a town goes forward regardless whether you concentrate on one thing or a hundred things. Our responsibility is to concentrate on everything that is important to the community. And safety is very, very important. I, I don't see how you can say when you put priorities that you would neglect seniors, you would neglect the youth, okay, and say, okay, well, we don't have time to worry about the safety of the community. We need to get revenue into the town. Now, I understand that, but I don't see how this would take away from what, what other committees are doing. We talk about a multitude of things here. We don't just talk about one thing. I think what you're suggesting is that the four things that you, you mentioned, that's the only things we should be talking about. And, and I, I don't agree with that. There is something that is important to everybody. And not everything is important to somebody. So if it's anything that's important to somebody, it's our responsibility, whether it's dogs. If someone comes up to, up to here and they, they have an issue with dogs, our responsibility is to listen to those people as if it's important to us, because it's important to them. And if somebody is concerned about their safety, you have seniors who can't walk to Walmart, all right, because the snow is, the, you know, the sidewalks are not cleared. All right, we need to address. It's important to them, so it has to be important to us, no matter how minuscule it is, or no matter how big it is. We can't be talking about. Uh, you know, I agree with you. We have to think of this town as a, in a business perspective. I understand that, but we can't forget the people, and we can't forget the people's needs, and it's varied, varied. I can argue with you and say, maybe we don't uh, need to have a, a, a youth services program because that's not important because it's not adding to our bottom line. Well, I, I'm not going to go that route because that is important to some people. Now, I have my views on it, but I, I accept that it's important to some people and I treat it, all things, no matter how small or how big it is, as is at, at the same level of importance because it is important to somebody. So I'm not going to discard or shove off somebody by saying, we got bigger things to worry about than you. Chair, Mr. Delaney. I won't go as far as Michael has gone, but I think we do have to prioritize in, in terms of what our top priorities are and where this falls on this list. Having said that, I think your suggestion of this advisory committee could work in such a way as I've said in the past. As you set out in your priorities here, in terms of revising the snow and ice removal from the sidewalks. You partner with CPC, you partner with uh, the Chamber of Commerce, re revise that bylaw. In addition, I believe the CPC has a sidewalk fund. I don't know what's in that fund or how much is in that fund, but if you can try to correct some of the issues. Mr. Hayden's here. Are you shaking your head? There is it's a community service fund. <coughs> okay. We use it for several things. We did, we did a engineering, not a study, but we did engineering for a sidewalk from Foley Drive down Havel Street to North Street because we got some walkers that go to elementary schools there. And that, uh, I, I signed the rec for that my, when I was chairman five years ago. I think it was about $16,000, somewhere in that range. That was completed, given to the DBW, we have a sidewalk yet? We don't, because there's no money to build it. They didn't even pull the easements needed. They didn't see Conservation Commission because they never saw they was ever going to have the money to do it. I don't know why, or, or you know, I don't remember what the cost of that sidewalk was going to be. There had been in the town 10, maybe 15 years ago, a sidewalk committee. They're not around anymore because they never got a sidewalk funded. 
there was never funding from, and I'm not, and I'm not no. saying you, you folks are, are, there was never enough money in the budget to fund sidewalks to be built on streets that they weren't. The issue about looking at building sidewalks, it's not easy. First of all, you gotta know if there's room on the right of way. If there's not room on the right of way, then you gotta take somebody's property to build a sidewalk. It gets to be more and more uh, nebulous there. Um, you know, we, the Planning Commission tries to plan and build the roads as safe as possible, but 28, you're not gonna get a light on 28 unless you can prove to the state that you need a stoplight. It took a young lady getting killed at Shaw's, crossing the street from Burroughs Road before they would put a light there. When they rebuilt the roadway here, they refused to put a stoplight there. They didn't even put the facilities under the street to put one in, which is just running a uh, conduit under the street. They had to dig the street up and put it, put it in after she was killed. They're not gonna add more lights to 28. There's a level of service, the road handles, and the lights come up to an engineering study. You know, Jeff and I talked about this tonight. He, there's some of the things, you know, okay, you can go out and look. We could use a better crosswalk here. You know, we can try to do, you know, maybe we can we get a sidewalk here? That would be great, but there's no money to do it. I think that committee is gonna get very disappointed quickly. Some of the other issues, if you wanna, if you, if you think you've got a dangerous intersection, roadway, bringing it to the CPC directly, if we don't have the time to handle it, we could have a, a subcommittee to handle it. We have the expertise available to us to do the engineering studies. You know, the, your, your scenario on that you had about waiting for four light cycles before you could get out of Main Street, you didn't tell that one to me. No, I, that, that was one of the things you were looking at. That's, that's something that needs to be done in a totally different way. You've got to interface with the state. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Board of Selectmen want to try to interface with the Department of Transportation to the state unless they absolutely have to because they're, they're kind of a, a mountain that doesn't like to move. It takes a long time. Putting sidewalks on 28, if you've gone to Walgreens, you notice there's kind of a sidewalk through the grass. That's there because we required Walgreens to put a sidewalk on 28, except the town of North Reading would not take responsibility for the sidewalk once it was built in the right of way. The state, the Department of Transportation says, yes, you can build a sidewalk in our right of way as long as the town takes responsibility for it. That's the maintenance and upkeep of it. Not the building of it, but the maintenance and upkeep. I've got that sidewalk that's on Walgreen property, the, the, the old shops at North Reading, the old Daniela's property, they ran into the same issue. Their sidewalk is in their property. It would be better on the right of way. But we haven't taken that responsibility. That's why I believe that the North Reading, uh, the 400 feet or whatever it is on 28 is not paved because North Reading wouldn't take responsibility for it. There wasn't a sidewalk there. And the state said, well, they're not gonna take responsibility for it. We're not gonna put a sidewalk there. I don't know. I wasn't on the board at that time. I'm just, I'm hazarding a guess there. Uh, Abbott Shoe has the base for a sidewalk, but no asphalt or concrete surface for the same reason. So there's already a base there, ready to go with a sidewalk if we could get it, you know, if we took responsibility. So that's something that maybe you can, we could do for, for us. I can't put any sidewalks on 28. I can't require them to do it. I can get it on their private property, but if they have no front, they should put a sidewalk in the grass area, or if I put a sidewalk in there, it, it violates our design rules, then I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I, I don't know if you follow them where I'm going well, on that. That's just some information for you. I don't know if they No, I appreciate that. that. And that's, I've said that a couple of meetings ago when this was first brought up that what you perceive their frustration will be is what I perceive it to be. They're going to come and propose sidewalks in certain areas and the funding, the ability to fund it is just not going to be there. And I know the ladies are here again and I know they're willing to put the time and the effort in, but 
honestly, I don't see...